Collective. What's going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. How y'all doing? We're doing. Oh, I just realized I don't have any earrings on. Oh well, forgot to put them on. I took a nap and forgot to put them on, but it's all good. How y'all doing? We're doing your collective reading for August eighth, the Lions Gate Portal. Yeah, you guys been manifesting today. I hope you have. Powerful day for manifestation. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on with the collective. I know the last collective reading was about a reconciliation. So let's see what else we got. What's going on with the collective? It's good to see you guys. We're almost at the weekend. Almost there. What is going on with the collective? Surrender. Letting go, release, giving up patience. Romantic feelings. Falling in love, affection, happiness, emotions. Signs and synchronicities. And the bottom of the deck, you got breakup. Signs and synchronicities, coincidence, signal, hint, message from the universe, breakup, walking away, ending, separation is over. So it seems like you're surrendering in regards to somebody you have a lot of feelings for. Yeah, you might get, a, you might have been getting a lot of signs to do this, to let this person go or just to surrender, even though you do have a lot of feelings about you and this person, I mean, for this person feel like they have feelings for you too. You might get a lot of signs about them. But for some reason, you feeling like you need to kind of release this and let this go. Just surrender to the universe about this. Some of you have actually walked away or you broke up or you're just in separation. But there's definitely something about you deciding to just surrender to the universe in regards to this. So let's get more info. I am so thirsty right now. You ever get like, you ever wake up from a nap and you're like, oh my God, I can drink like from the fountains of Fiji. Like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that's how I feel. And I really like what I like about this room. I feel like every time I stay somewhere, like there's always something that I really, really like about the room. Like, you know, I'll pick out one thing that I like. And here, I really like that the refrigerator, it gets so cold. I have put like a drink in there when I first got here. And last night I, I pulled it out. Oh my God, it was so good. I had a Dr. Pepper and it was like, it was like, you know, like that cold where it's, it's not frozen, but it's like right before it gets frozen. Oh my God, I was in heaven. So I think I'm gonna do that again tonight. <laughs> that refrigerator just gets so cold. I love it. I know that was random. Somebody's name is Charlie. Let's see what's going on between you and this person. Cause you're telling me you have to kind of let this go and surrender, even though you have a lot of feelings for them. The three of swords. Okay. So that being the first card, this is somebody that's caused you a lot of pain. The six of wands in reverse. Somebody could be born in February on the 2nd or the 22nd. The devil. Okay, so you feel like dealing with this person is unhealthy. Capricorn energy. The seven of wands in reverse. You're giving up. Some of you, you were fighting for this. The tower in reverse. Scorpion energy. The fool, Aries energy. So ready to just kind of be free from this, start fresh, start new, take a leap of faith in an unknown direction, the two of swords. You could have been on the fence about this. So this is all about you. 
the Knight of Cups in reverse. This person could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. The bottom of the deck, we got the Death card, Scorpion energy. So yeah, you're definitely um, ending something here with somebody. And this has been something very painful. Some of you feel like if you don't end this now, it's gonna, there's gonna be a tower moment, like something major is gonna happen. Like some of you feel like, you know, it'll be better if you get away from this now, because if you don't do it now, some type of tower is gonna break out. When I get back in the gym, I miss working on my arms. Yeah, Leo energy, strength in reverse. I feel like going through this situation has definitely helped you transform and change. Some of you, this person is very much so attached to you, like heavily attached to you. Um, with the devil here. Some of you, it could be a sex-based connection. I don't know. I just see a lot of pain. This person has caused you a lot of mental pain. This is you surrendering to the universe. Just like maybe some of you have been trying to fight to keep this connection going. But I see a lot of you like just I'm done fighting. I'm done trying. You know, this person could be like I said, there's a lot of <clears throat> excuse me. There's a lot of signs here. There's Capricorn, there's Scorpio heavy, there's Aries, there's Cancer, there's Pisces. You're seeing them as the Knight of Cups in reverse. So some of you, this person might be very emotionally affected by this, but you got to do what's best for you. I feel like this person has been fickle with you anyway. They've been on and off, hot and cold. What's the Three of Swords? Four of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all, something happened with a third party. The Three of Swords again. Twice. This person, they, they did something to hurt you. Some of y'all that has something to do with a third party, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Whatever they did with the Four of Swords in reverse, some of y'all, it really like affected you. It could have really even affected like your peace. Like it just didn't sit right with you. What's the Six of Wands in reverse? Seven of Wands again in reverse. The Justice. You feel like you're doing the right thing. Libra energy. You feel like you're making the right choice to do this. You don't want to give this any more attention. You feel like this is just not working out in a successful way. What's the devil? The ace of cups. The moon, four cups. You couldn't see how toxic this situation was with the moon. Some of you, like with the ace of cups, you've been like so attached to this person that like you, you've literally been blocking out new love from coming in because you've been like attached. You know, the devil is about unhealthy things we're attached to, unhealthy things we can't let go of. So I feel like, cause you got the Ace of Cups, which is about new love. So some of you, maybe you've had new people try to come into your life, but maybe you just have been so attached. You couldn't see it with the moon. There's something about you not being able to see this situation and how toxic it was for you. Some of you is because you just had a lot of love for this person. You couldn't see it. What's the seven of wands in reverse? The hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. Yeah, some of y'all, there's something about you um, 
there being problems with commitment. Some of you with the Hierophant in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all, a third party, something could have happened with a third party. And that's really what made you give up and surrender. Some of you, it's just the fact that this person with the Hierophant in reverse, they haven't committed to you. Or if they did, they weren't faithful. What's the tower in reverse? Somebody's name is Sheila. The nine of cups. Some of y'all born on the ninth, the 18th, the third, the fifth, the 13th. The hermit, Virgo energy. So you've really had some time to reflect and think about this. Um, you're, you're choosing you. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing happiness. You want to be emotionally fulfilled and you feel like this the best way to do that is to stop talking to this person and to just kind of stay to yourself why the fool Ooh. the queen of cups in reverse you emotionally detaching the devil in reverse yeah this person no longer has any power over you but with the devil here You still have power over them. What's the two of swords? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're choosing you. The King of Swords. Yeah, you're thinking more logical now. It's like a lot of things you couldn't see before. Now you're seeing it. Now, why are you seeing this person as the Knight of Cups in reverse? Because you see, you know this person is not going to move on. You know it. <laughs> you know this person is going to hold on to you. The Six of Swords in reverse, the Judgment in reverse. You feel like Scorpion energy here. You feel like this person is not going to move on. You feel like they're going to keep holding on to you. They may even judge you for doing this. What's the Death card? King of Wands in reverse tried to pop out. They might be really mad and upset. What's the death? Some of y'all definitely something with a third party because there's three queens here all in reverse. The magician in reverse. Mm. No longer stealing your power. Gemini energy. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, you, there's something about you ending this because there's something, I just heard the last straw. So I don't know what this person did. I feel like whatever they did to you, it was the last straw. It's what made you surrender to the universe. Like, I'm done now. Like, some of you see this person as trying to, they manipulated you. You may see them as a liar. This person, what feelings do they have towards you? Some of you may see them as like a liar. The fool. So they know that you're trying to just start fresh and start over. The page of pentacles. They are going to continue to reach out. <laughs> the tower in reverse, the eight of wands. Yeah, they are going to continue to reach out. I see a lot of messages from them. Um, or phone calls or whatever they're doing. Because they don't want things to end with the tower in reverse. It's like this person wants you to stay around. I definitely see a lot of communication. Aries and Scorpio energy here. The strength, Leo energy. They see you as being very strong. Dealing with all of this, dealing with them. Mm -hmm. But I see a lot of messages from them. Like, I feel like they don't want you to start new. They don't want you to start fresh. There's something here about the sun. Let me know if that resonates. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you took a walk one day. It was really bright. The sun was shining on you. I don't know if you did some, what do you call it? Sun gazing. I don't know. There's something about the sun here.
but they're definitely not going to, but again, you're the one that's in control. You're the one that's, that has the power here. So So what's happening between you and this person in the future? Let's see. Very deep reading. So we're going to see what's happening between you and this person in the future. Make sure you guys hit the like button, okay? Subscribe, comment, share. Tell a friend about Miss Hawaii Tarot. We are going to... Um, go to the extended now i couldn't talk for a minute in the extended we're going to pull oracle cards we're going to pull tarot we're going to get you some advice to see what you should do moving forward in love okay if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can email miss hawaii readings at gmail.com my instagram and my tiktok is miss hawaii tarot so make sure you show love on there please and uh, much love to all the members all the patreoners thank you guys for all your support and your love and um, keep shining. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. I love you. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. Let me go get something to drink because your girl is parched. <laughs>